Version 1 of the web was really uh, taking our directory structure from our computers and sticking that on the web. That's when companies like Yahoo became very successful, which was the largest uh, you know, online directory uh, of websites. Then there was so much content being created on the web that you couldn't create a good taxonomy that everyone would understand. And you started throwing, and at the same time, computational power started becoming better. And that's when companies like you know, Alta Vista, Intermune, and of course, uh, Google came into not only really existence, but became very, very successful. And you know, Google still sort of reigns the whole computational search uh, era. But I think about three to four years ago, that era is shifting, and has shifted quite a bit, and has moved to social media. That's why it's 3.0, it's version yeah. 3 of the web. Somewhere in some corner, there must be web 4.0. <coughs> there is a web 4.0. I, have, uh, I may have seen it. But uh, not, no, 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 it's not that. It's not definitive enough uh, that, that I think it's going to happen. Uh, there are some characteristics of F4.0, though, that I, I think we should think about. So just to finish that trend, there was a lot of data that was being generated. So now even computational uh, algorithms are not sufficient. So if you, uh, you know, search for something that has a lot of monetary value, let's say, you know, and uh, vacation in Ladakh or buying a high-def TV, uh, where you know it makes a lot of sense for someone to try and SEO, try and really game the system, or at least use the system to their benefit in order to show up in the first page of search results. You see, it's all commercial results, right? So you have no way of knowing whether it's good or bad. And because someone has a uh, inbuilt motivation and incentive to try and get you to buy that product or service from them, uh, that's when social media filter comes in, because what do you do today? You know, you want to find a uh, uh, plumber in Pawai, you pick up your phone, you ask someone, hey, you know, when your pipe broke, who did you call? Was that person good or bad? What that chap? You know, did he show up on time, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what you do. That's what filter is that. That's your network filter. That's what social media is doing online right now. You know, your recommendation that you get on a profile is effectively that. That's a very small example, but there are many more like that. What is happening as all of this happens? So before 2007, <coughs> total, okay, uh, one exabyte of data was created on the web. In the last year alone, 2008, one exabyte of data was created. So you look at the ramp of data that's coming up, it's tremendous. So companies that are going to figure out ways to leverage that data and make a lot of sense from it. And you know, the continuum is vast, right? So you start with raw data, from that you get information. From information you get knowledge. From knowledge you get insights. Most people are still stuck at the data to, know, uh, to information continuum. And there are lots of companies making a lot of money in that. But if we can leapfrog that entire thing and go to insights, I think that's V4O for you. I think those are some of the characteristics. I don't know of companies yet that are there. I don't know of major industries that have been created there. But, but if you have a business plan on that, drop me a line.